Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Iador, Masters of the Broken World on Overlord Difficulty. Uh, before we start playing today, just a uh, few technical things. I changed, uh, changed some uh, uh, settings for the new mic that I have. Uh, you said that... Uh, I was, or the volume was still too low, so I tried to increase it. I don't want to like go all the way uh, at once. I'll just slowly try to increase the volume, and hopefully we'll get uh, to the level when everything will be fine. Just don't want to risk just really pushing it too far and like getting some crazy background noise that the mic would start picking absolutely everything that's going on around me, especially my cats because. They can be quite noisy. Uh, so that's uh, one thing. Hopefully it will be better. But again, if there is you know, any problem, let me know. I now should be able to do something about that. And by the way, some of you are interested in uh, what mic I'm actually using. It's not just the mic. The whole thing that I bought, it's called uh, Focusrite Scarlet Solo Studio Pack. So if you are interested how what exactly that is, you can just search on Google. It's, uh, you know, mic and uh, uh, and um, the whole basically recording pack uh, is uh, made for uh, like music recording, but uh, many people are using it for the streaming, so I thought I would give it a shot and hopefully I'll be able to uh, learn how to work with it and how to set it up properly so that I finally solve the problem with the quality of the audio but uh, yeah uh, we'll see about that as I said please let me know if there is anything you don't like I can uh, uh, work on that uh, and um, now we can um, get back to the game um, I didn't touch the game for like three or four days and uh, now uh, I'm I don't know, our uh, ah, or I was playing part of Exile whole weekend, so it might take me a while to get back into Edor. But I think um, after I checked the situation before I started recording, I kind of have the idea how everything looks like and how bad the situation is. We just don't have any targets. Uh, we can do this lizard man, and um, that's basically it. I was thinking about necromancers, but uh, with... Um, our resistance doing anything with tier 2 casters sometimes even tier 1 casters is bad idea especially combine them with uh, ghouls and in two, tier 2 necromancers they, there can be like 3 ghouls 2 sorcerers um, bad idea we could try the free settlement that would be an option that should be doable but uh, then we have to rely on the scout and hope that we find something because if not then we will be in trouble hopefully uh come on this is not what i wanted uh this is what i want uh hopefully we will get enough gold for the trappers guild uh and um uh we'll get the uh, the slug that could open some more options for us but um, well we won't have the support for this like uh, uh, the phantom form you know, to really make him tanky so can't um, go for anything too crazy even with the slug uh, also with the slug um, I think we'll have to we will have to take sphere of winds because slug without haste sucks. So this means um, we are taking this uh, magic school. Then I was thinking about uh, Altar of Chaos for burn ammo. Uh, with the resistance negation that we have, burn ammo could be quite effective against casters. So that would uh, help us in some of those fights and like brighten or widen the spectrum of fights that we can take. Um, and then you basically have one more school left, and I'm really not sure what's that gonna be. I wanted the school of wizardry uh, for uh, the defensive and offensive buff, but um, if we go with the slug uh, tank uh, build, at least for a while, I should probably go for healing because uh, 
uh, we will have to heal the slack here and there and um, cure wounds would be the only option right now so this is um, kind of what I am planning but um, yeah we still need gold even for these basic things so we don't have the resource sales we don't have location so we could be in trouble in this uh, on this shard uh, main reason being the lack of uh, provinces in the second train and also our scout is really slow with this exploring so fingers crossed that uh, in this part we find something okay this is meant first um, explore and uh, go Hmm. Without priests, I think this would be a really good fight for us. A really good fight, tough fight, but something we should be able to handle, but with priests. On the other hand, we don't really have any other options, so we either take this and win, or we are screwed. Or we can buff the resistance with astral energy, get it to like 4. This is gonna be tough. It's in the forest though, so that may split them up. Oh, I'm gonna do it, but um, it's pretty dangerous. Ah, this is gonna help though. These two obstacles can be, or will be, really important. Are you in the range two, four, five? If you have something here, then the priest won't move, and should start shooting before anything reaches us he doesn't have that much ammo so this uh, maybe will help us to get rid of one priest before we get surrounded uh, you have to move you have to move and worst case scenario we can retreat a little bit though I'll try to avoid doing that because if we do it, then we would, won't be able to move at all. And I expected more from the Turtlebacks uh, defenses. I was convinced that uh, they had uh, quite high range defense by default, and they don't. They just have more hit points. And can't be counter attack or can't no counter backstep. That's what I meant. They have uh, better level ups though, which is not gonna help us in this fight. Okay, so where do we start? I think we don't have to use astral energy yet. Think. Gonna start with fatigue somewhere. This guy's forced march, so if he uses it, then uh, he's basically dead. He'll be down to three stamina, still be able to beta damage, but. Nothing that you have to worry about. Yeah, good. Down to three. Perfect. Okay. Now we need to heal. I think... 
We can handle one more turn without astral energy. On that turn, I'm gonna use to get one more fatigue. Or actually, wait, no, 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 no. Uh, this uh, priest is now in range. What we can do though is get the kill here, heal. Now get the astral energy. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. How much ammo do they have? One last shot. Can either kill this guy or web him. If we kill him, then we have to just web another one. We then have to web the turtle back, probably. Does this one have forced march? He doesn't. Uh, now let's get the kill then. I'm gonna go with this and do some damage trying to kill as many of them as possible before basilisks come to us this might even be it no it's not a kill oh wow, it's surprising expected uh a lot more damage. Oh, wow. Oh, that's interesting choice, uh, hitting the healer. I'm not gonna complain. You have to go back. And maybe I'm not gonna heal even. How many heals do we have? I only have five heals. That's probably fine. We have to weaken the basilisk. You have four heals, so we can heal the lizard man as well. Oh, petrification, sure. And this actually hurt. But that was the last shot. I'm thinking if I can afford to take a hit from the lizard man and the basilisk, but uh, with fatigue, I think we can just tank it, or even better, the petrification helps a lot because that doubles our uh, melee defense basically, so now we don't have to worry about their melee attacks. Get another fatigue. Good. So I was uh, 
hoping would happen. Okay, turtle back down. Here we can attack the Basilisk. That's better target because he's gonna run out of uh, stamina. Just trying to weaken them as much as possible. Can't really uh, clear them fast enough, but I can do it in a way that um, their hits just don't do any damage or do minimum damage. Can we get a kill? You can, good. Which means now the priest should go on this style. Or maybe not. Well, he can go on this style. There we go. That's even better. Let's do as much damage as possible to the Basilisk. And what do we have left? Astral energy. I don't think that we need to use any spells now. We can even save some gems in this fight. Okay. Oh, that was a kill. Didn't expect so much damage. Okay, this was easier than I expected. But, uh, well, it's true that the terrain helped us a lot. This, uh, these two tiles, these impossible obstacles, made it so easy to defend uh, uh, our units and heal them. Here we can get a kill. Now we just... Wait for the Basilisk to run out of stamina. And we finish him off. Good. Hopefully the reward uh, uh, will be decent. I mean, it was a tough fight still. Two Basilisks, so many lizard men. 60 gold here already. That's not bad. Level ups. This one sucks. Well, defense is better for the turtle bag. Definitely counter attack from those two options. Here, we'll be fighting defensively most of the time. We already have movement too, so the forest march is not such a high priority. I mean, it's still nice, but kind of want the defense first. So let's take that. Metal for resilience. Nope. I still want Wolf War Victory Order. Um, stamina for you. There we go. So let's take it. You can get extra healing. And what else do we get? Race zombie. I'm probably gonna keep it. Because that's a spell we most likely won't get from magic schools. So just in case. In some fights. Uh, the cannon for the zombie can be might be important and we'll have more than enough spell slots so why not but 186 gold is disappointing three percent explore it wow and hello random event uh, Taking away a province for, from us and 10 gold per turn, more importantly. Damn. Well, it's one extra fight that we can do. I think, what are you gonna do now? You're gonna start by checking 
this princess lines i want to know exactly uh what we would face here if uh, we decide to attack that's first thing then we will retake the province and 10 gold per turn it's probably something we should get back with uh, the economy looking like this it basically doubles our income Oh, and look at the income from this province. Holy crap. I really, really want it. But I think that this is going to be uh, multiple nights and can't do that. Even in, with the forest on our side, still. They're too fast. Um, anyway, after we take this province, uh, I think we're going to do the free settlement. I know that uh, it'll be running all over. That's just... All that we can do for now and this will give our scout more time to explore we have 500 gold so it's enough for the trappers guild but i'm not gonna build it yet uh, maybe we can just go through the capital on our way to the free settlement and grab the slug there have it for the tier 3 free settlement just replace something I'm not sure what maybe one lizard man for now we'll get it back uh, once we get another uh, slot in the army of course okay let's do it that way it's the best thing we can do right now. We really don't have that many options. Uh, how does it look like on the other side of the shard, by the way? You kidding me, right? No, no, it's fine. I thought this was a third ring. Uh, his, um, or isn't it a third ring? Where is his capital? I remember seeing it. On the edge of the shard, we had uh, identical starting positions, just you know, on opposite sides. I think here is his capital. We can't see it, but I think it's here. So this is a second ring on one side. But why wouldn't he have? Or does he have a province? He does have province here. So first ring on one side, second ring on the other side, most likely. And then this would be second ring everywhere. Okay, so he basically managed to do same the same thing as we did. Starting to be afraid that uh, may just fall behind. But for now, we can't do anything else than what we um, just talked about. So let's do it. Yeah, and um, this is maybe even worse than. Uh, than what I well it's definitely worse than what I hoped for um kind of expected something like this but I was hoping for like maybe 10 units which would uh, maybe reduce the amount of knights this fight can be three knights two horsemen like the toughest uh, composition and you'll be able to do this for a long time mm. Yeah, we are not going to negotiate. I'll just get out of there. Oh, but we found something. Come on. Give me more, but uh, not this. Well, I can't risk it. In our current situation, we can't afford to lose the scout, so I'll just pass by. Uh What's the location? Well, tier 2 demons, that's a fight for us. So, some magic damage, but hopefully we'll be able to handle the first uh, volley of uh, magic missiles from imps, and uh, then we are fine. And again, we can't really do anything else. This is going to be another level for a hero, though. That's nice. By the way... We have the Sorcerer's Wand. That's 
probably something I should use. Okay, go. This is quite disappointing, the amount of units, but on the other hand, uh, Succubus is magic damage. Usually, the Succubus is kind of irrelevant, but with the, the resistance that we have, or I should say, don't have, this might be still some damage that uh, when it adds up with imps. Could be dangerous. Let's see. It's six units, so most likely one, 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 and three imps. If they all decide to hit one target at the same turn, it still can be a lot. So maybe it's a, a good thing that it's only six units. It's still be should still be a decent uh, reward. Hmm. I think it's better. To move north for this. I'll just start with fatigue on the succubus. Yeah, it's in the range. Oh, that hurt. I was hoping that I could maybe reduce its uh, attack before they get to us, but no, I can't go with another um, another fatigue. I think I have to go for astral energy or maybe vab. Vab might be better. Basically, split uh, the burst. We're gonna have all the hits from imps now. We should survive that. And then we can keep taking the damage from the succubus. I just can't afford all the magic damage in one turn. And they blocked the excess for the hellhound. There was one more thing that would be dangerous if this imp moved on this style. Then the hellhound would kill the lizard man. And that was something I uh, just, or I, I couldn't avoid. With their mobility, I wasn't able to just avoid all the risks. Okay, now they can just attack in melee. Here we have one more turn for the succubus, which is definitely going to help. What I'm going to do is just use astral energy and uh, heal. And um, we'll wait one more turn before we start moving. I was thinking about attacking imps already. I wouldn't be able to kill all of them. And I don't want them to get to healers or healer. That's a kill. That's a kill. Two, three. Could do some damage to the hellhound, but is it worth it? Probably isn't. The best thing you can do is just use Astral Energy, boost the resistance, and end the turn. Why are you not moving? Eh, no, that's not what I wanted. As a misclay, they don't want to move the turtle back. But this is odd. Why is the imp not doing anything? I mean, that is the hero. He's definitely not dead. He's just bugged. Let's web the fiend. Almost looks like the 
uh, imp is like pretending that he can't do anything and he's trying to convince me it's safe to move this lizard man to the fiend then he's he would fly on this tile and uh, attack the healer and that's not happening he's not yet no. okay oh, let's see what's gonna happen now there we go he was waiting for the lizard man to move good try Okay, let's see the reward, it wasn't a bad fight, here's the level ups, we got magic and um, from abilities, I think the only option really now is uh, wisdom, just uh, make sure that we are leveling as fast as possible and hope that with the experience boost those few locations you'll have just will be enough to get us to the third train. That's the obstacle. Once we can get into the third train, we are fine. By getting there, that's gonna be a pain. Uh, what else? Bone breaker. Yeah, and ba uh, bandit's bow is an upgrade for the scout, and that's gonna make him safe against ambushes. Finally, so at least something. Anything else we can give him? Nope. This is a big boost. Okay, so we have two more spell slots. I think one of those spells will be the zombie. It's expensive. I mean, expensive to cast, of course, but... The cannon fodder, that might be something you actually need for this army. I have to think again about all the spells that uh, we want to get from our capital. How exactly we want to play this, because we may be forced into some crazy fights if we don't get some more locations. And uh, being able to raise uh, undead might be a key to those tough fights because that just provides you know the extra uh, extra shield that eats the worst damage. Also, they can work as like obstacles. Mm. Now think about it off camera. Be today we can just. Uh, get uh, this province and I think since we're gonna need haste uh, anyway we're just gonna grab sphere winds uh, get the fair wind and speed things up a little bit yeah definitely need a spell school fair wind is not that expensive to use and it's gonna share with two turns Still have enough for the Trapper's Guild. Oh, two, four, six. Mm, that's fine. Expected more damage. Now, oh, there is more damage. Uh, maybe I should stop at least this guy. But what I wanted to say is now when uh, it doesn't really matter that much how uh, bad the range damage is, those hits, 
are not doing too much of course when you are taking three per turn it adds up but individual heads were not doing that much if uh, we are like surrounded by units and taking damage from melee attacks as well we, that we would uh, be taking a lot more it almost seemed that way that the game knows it and okay here it doesn't matter so let's just hit for nothing and when it matters it's like a truck I think burn ammo is something we want to take as well. Oh, and I'm looking. Oh, that hurt. I'm looking on the fight. It would make it much easier. We could just uh, get rid of one of those shooters. What I know is that we are not taking School of Wizard Wizardry, that's for sure. Now the question is, what's gonna be the second school we don't take? It's either gonna be healing, or it's gonna be the necromancy, I think. Because I really worry, want burn ammo. I definitely have things to think about off camera. I thought this shard would be like really easy and you could have some, some fun here, try you know, some unusual build, maybe not the strongest build ever. And it seems that um, because of the lack of uh, provinces and therefore fights, just the fights of uh, that uh, we do while we are conquering conquering provinces. That's so important. I mean, there will be one two three four five six seven eight eight extra tier two fights we would be able to do just by conquering provinces two more tier one fights and that's That's like two levels difference And of course in those provinces we would have some locations that will be already available so that uh, again would allow us to fight more so we, just by that we are getting to like maybe three levels difference now we somehow have to work without it doing fights like this Okay, well, the next turn we are definitely, or next two turns, we are definitely going back to the capital. And... We're gonna need the Trapper's Guild no matter what, so might as well build it. And on the next turn we're gonna build uh, uh, one more magic school where we can change our spell setup before we leave the capital. And yeah, now we have to rely on uh, on the scout. Still thinking about necromancers, but that's yeah. Maybe with burn ammo. I'm not sure, really. Maybe it'd be interesting, guys. Let me know what you would do here. My plan now really is to get back to the capital, get the slug, uh, change the spell setup a bit, depends on if I decide to go for those necrom uh, necromancers or not, then go for free settlement and hope that uh, meanwhile the scout gets, some, uh, gets us some more targets. If he doesn't, then we'll probably forced into uh, these goblins here and here. We have to risk... Uh, those assets from alchemists and necromancers, those are options. And again, after these, uh, or 
while we are doing these hope that the scout finally finds something and if that if by this point he still doesn't have anything then we would have to start exploring with the wizard as well that's like what i'm thinking now but well i'm just curious um, uh what would you guys do maybe you could also use some inspiration if there is some other way i don't think so but still uh if you feel like uh telling me what would you do uh, do so definitely in comments like reading these uh, suggestions you have and uh, i'm thinking thinking a and then uh, there are three or four comments thinking b c d e uh it gives me like uh, the idea how many options there are that i don't see sometimes so yeah i'll be looking forward to your comments and um we are done for today, so I hope that you like this part. You're going to join me for the next one again, and until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.